Excel pivot chart drill down buttons are an intuitive way for your users to drill up and down through a hierarchy right on the face of a chart. They're technically expand and collapse buttons and they were introduced in Excel 2016. You'll find them in the bottom right of your pivot chart whenever you have more than one field in the chart axis area. Let's take a look at some examples. Here I have a pivot chart and if you look at the field list you can see there are three fields in the axis well. Years, quarters and date which actually represents the month. Now currently the chart is only showing the year and quarter level of detail but I can drill up and down using these expand and collapse buttons on the face of the chart. Now in earlier versions of Excel you don't have these buttons but you can double click on the axis to drill down and to go back up you need to have the axis selected and then right click expand and collapse here you can collapse one field at a time, so that would be the field that you had selected when you right clicked, so you can see here quarter two has collapsed. Or you can right click, expand and collapse, collapse entire field. So there's a bit more work required in earlier versions of Excel because we don't have these handy expand and collapse buttons on the face of the chart, but the features are still there. Now let's look at how we build a chart with these expand and collapse buttons. To build a pivot chart with the expand and collapse buttons, simply select the data or a cell in the data range and then on the inset tab I'm going to go straight to pivot chart. You get the same dialog box you do for a pivot table so all I need to do is choose where I want to place the pivot chart and I'm going to put it on this sheet so I'll select the cell there and click OK. Notice that we get a placeholder for the pivot table and a placeholder for the pivot chart. And if we look at the field list, you can see the field wells have legend and axis categories instead of rows and column labels. We build it just like a pivot table. So we add the fields to the chart area that we want. Now notice at the moment I only have one field in my axis categories and I don't have the expand and collapse buttons. But as soon as I add product, now I get the expand and collapse buttons added. Now the chart's a bit small so let's make it a bit bigger. Now by default pivot charts have these field buttons for the axis labels, the legend if you have one, and the values. Personally I think these take up way too much room, especially in bar charts which I'm going to turn this into. But first I want to turn these buttons off. So you can do it by right clicking and then hide axis field buttons on chart. You can hide all the field buttons on the chart, but I want the expand and collapse buttons to remain. So I need to turn these axis field buttons off by themselves. And then again for the value fields. Now you can also access those field button options on the pivot chart tab, field buttons. And then you can see it still has the report filter buttons on the chart, but we don't have any at the moment. There's no filters, so I don't need to turn that off. And the legend fields. I don't have any values in my legend so again I don't need to turn that off but I can do it here. And you can see there is the expand and collapse field buttons and they're showing in the bottom right of the chart. So let's turn this into a bar chart. On the design tab I'm just going to change the chart type. Bar chart is better suited to charts with long labels in the axis. So let's resize this. And I'll do a little bit more formatting. We'll turn the title off the grid lines and the legend. And I'm just going to select the bar and control one to open the formatting and we'll make the gap with 50%. That just makes it a bit easier to read. So now that I have my chart, you can see I've got the expand and collapse buttons. I can collapse and expand as I wish. Now another feature that's not easily discoverable is the ability to add a field to the access using double click. For this I'm going to remove the product field and you can see the expand and collapse buttons have gone. Now with the axis selected, if I double click one of the axis labels, I get a dialog box open up that allows me to add a field from the existing field list. So for example here I could add the year to my axis and it's being added to the axis categories in the field list and you can see it's also added to the chart. Again, the expand and collapse buttons are available. So I can right click to collapse. I can double click to expand 
or I can use the expand and collapse buttons depending on the version of Excel that you have. Now the only downside of the drill down buttons or expand and collapse buttons is that they can only drill up and down on one chart at a time. I think it would be nice if you could link them to other charts like you can with slices and then you could drill down multiple charts at the same time. Well that's drilling down on the face of the chart now all you need to do is teach those who read your reports how to use them. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. I hope you can make use of this technique. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And don't forget to share it with your friends who might also find this useful. Thanks for watching.